This is um, Wanzi's Crochet and Knit. And um, these are the colors we're going to be using for our Illusions Beanie Cow that started yesterday. So um, hopefully everyone that's wanting to get started now has a pattern. You have the choice of getting it at the store. Uh, the Wanzi's, Wanzi's Crochet and Knit dot com slash store uh, there you can get it for free as well as order some um, other patterns if you like uh, while the sale is going on until the end of the month you can also go to my website at wanzies crochet and knit dot com and on the main page at the bottom is the feature pattern of of this month and that is the illusions beanie and you can click right on the picture to get a PDF download right from there. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and get started? You have to have three colors, and of course, I'm using different colors uh, for this demo. I'm not going to do an actual full size hat um, because I've already made one. <laughs> so, this will be let's say uh, this will be my A color, and uh, this will be my B color, and uh, this will be my C color. So why don't we line those up on the side to use them later. What I like to do is put a, a pin, just one of my sewing pins, in um, to make the yarn stay when I have a little bit left. So if you have about three ounces of a color, you should be able to make this hat so you don't have to get a full size skein if you don't need it. So we're, Actually, I'll move it over here since I give myself some more space. And uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? We're just, I'm just going to do a small mock up of um, what's actually being done. So uh, we began by chaining five. <clears throat> and then what we're going to simply going to do is, is single crochet. In each, uh, you know, the, the the last four, you know, when you single, by now, if you don't know how to chain, if you don't know how to start a, start out a row, then you can go to my beginning videos to do that. Okay, so when you're done, you have four single crochets, and that's what that's saying on the pattern. Okay, so that's your first row. So we're gonna head, go ahead and um, turn chain one and then we're going to go in the front loop because we see and this is something most people should know already but this is the front loop here and then this is the back loop you have the V okay it'd be better to point with this and I'm trying to do this through the camera sorry uh, so this is your front loop and this is your back loop. Normally we go through both, but to for this for this uh, band we're only going to go through this. Okay, the front loop. So why don't we do that? And the band works up pretty quickly for the simple fact that you only have five chains. And as I always say, if you are a tight crocheter. You're gonna always have problems with your working into your first row because you made the stitches too tight. You don't wanna you don't want to um do anything too tight because you'll have a problem with it. If you especially if you got to work into it. Okay, so you can see from just doing this that um this stitch is ribbed, it's starting to make that ribbed effect. So, what I'm going to do is make, a, a, like I said, a smaller version of this, and then I will be right back. Okay, now we're back, and we're I've done just a small mock-up of the band. So let's go ahead, and um, after you've worked the 68 rows, of course, it'll be way longer than this. I didn't put the long tail on this, like the directions in, um, inferred, because I'm not working an entire hat. 
Uh, so you want to have this long enough to sew up this seam when you're through, okay? So this is, you might want to give it about three or four inches depending on, you know, so you have enough room. You don't want to not have enough room. Um, so let's go ahead and now we're going to work. Now we're going to get into the hat part. So we have to close the, the band, right? So we're going to turn it away from us. And we're going to go right. And when it says you have a loop on the hook, and you want to go straight into the other side. Make sure it's not twisted. I know that's kind of like a no-brainer, but sometimes we, we do things and we don't know why. <laughs> so let's go straight into that top side. Doesn't matter how you do it. Okay, and then you're going to yarn over. Actually, with the working yarn. <laughs> yarn over, and you're going to pull through that end and pull all the way through. Okay, and this is how it looks. It's laying flat and you're working on the inside and I'm doing it because I want to build up a little bit before I get into the design and this is how I figured it would work so I'm going to chain one and now we're just going to work into the side so we're going to go into the next uh, area and just work into the side of the rows and uh, with it being single crochets it's really simple you don't have to guess where to go like you would in a double crochet which is nice so you just continue around and uh, I'll be back once I'm finished to show the next part okay so I worked my little test swatch and I did the single crochet edging some people may want to put have wanted to put a stitch marker in uh, where the chain one was but um I can tell that I'm at the end so I, I didn't do it so whatever you need to do to make it easier for yourself uh, you know go ahead so now we're going to go ahead and join with the other side so we've brought it all together for sure for sure now <laughs> okay had to concentrate for a minute there okay and so now what we're gonna do we're gonna turn our work around so now we're working on the outside and we'll stay on the outside until the end but um, now we're going to um, chain one and now we're in round two and we're just going to single crochet around again okay and um, I'll go ahead and uh, do that and when I come back we're gonna I'm gonna work the row with the color in it okay I am back now and I've worked around and now I just uh, I'm gonna join in that chain one that uh, from the previous row so you should be looking like this right about now everything's on its side and uh, we've worked two single crochet rows and like I said we're working on the outside now and we'll work the outside all the way to the end and, uh, we finished round we're on we finished round one and one thing I forgot to do which is good on making that mistake so you can catch it if you do it once I put it through through the chain one this is where yarn bobbins come in handy I'm just not using them because I don't need to right now is we're going to change into color B I can't remember which one was B and I don't think it matters since this is not my hat <laughs> okay I know I have a pen no I don't have a pen in this one so so we have these two this is the loop on the hook and we've gone through see we've gone through the chain one and um, we're just going to attach our B color into here and if your stuff is loose like this don't worry you can tighten it up as you go but um, it's just because you added another color so you, you, you're just going to be working so you can just put each color on a yarn bobbin because it keeps it from unraveling or you could just, you know, as you're working, um, stick a pin in it to keep it from unraveling as you work your colors. 
and I found that um, keeping the loop well this is a small opening but your hat will be bigger I just I just keep the yarn that I'm not working on inside so it keeps the confusion down on the seam uh, so um, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and chain one so now we got our other color here and so we're going to single crochet in the first two single crochets okay so we'll go ahead and do that like I said don't worry about that gap you don't have to really deal with it until later when you're through okay but don't be pulling too tight because you got to work until your chain ones so we just did uh, a single crochet in the first two single crochets and now what well, now we're going to do this LSC this long single crochet and you see this stitch right here our next stitch don't work into that go below the row below and you're going to go straight in so we're going to go straight through the, just we're not we not there but right down in that hole that opening and we're just going to yarn over okay and we're going to pull it straight through that hole and we're going to pull it up so it's the same length height as the yarn on the hook yarn over and pull through both loops okay and so then we're going to do the next part where we're going to do a single crochet and we're going to just do long cro long crochet long single crochet and make sure you don't be pulling on it tight and regular single crochet and we'll do one more for you go straight through and we don't work make sure when you're pulling it you don't you see how when I pull down I, I let go and, and let and brought it back up to the height and then worked it okay and and then we do the regular so I'll show you from behind I'm not working what's behind what's what's been um I'm not working anything from that's showing this looks like that stitch is showing that's what the single the the LSC went went over, so we don't work that. So they'll like in the back you'll have those gaps, but that's how it's supposed to be. And you can see, there's your design already forming. So I'm gonna go ahead and work around, and and then I will come back and do the next uh, LSC row. Okay, I'll be right back. Now we're at that point where we had a gap from the row before and that's making it look weird. That's because it's loose, because it's trailing. So just pull it. Just pull it. And now you're just going to go into that, um, that um, color B, the chain one from the color B. So we'll move these other two out of the way. Get my pen out. And now we're going to work in our C color. I would never put these colors together, but that's just me. But I just pulled out some balls that were small and went went ahead at it. <laughs> okay, so now we have C added. And I tell you, I'm going to keep working with this light, but I find that this, this art light is too bright for me. And it's driving me crazy. So I wanted, one thing I wanted to share, though, with you is go ahead and pull that from the starting to get that gap out of the way but when you're working like I said just kind of keep them so that they're not confused so that they'll be neat on the, it'll be your work will be neat on the inside you know I know no one sees it but that matters to me if it doesn't matter to you then don't worry about it you can have your stuff all but I would imagine it would create a lump in your head if you just didn't care how you did your yarn so um, let's go ahead and chain one and then we're going to work and so now and it says to join with round with color C which we just ended up doing and so now now do we're working on round four so we single crochet and now we're going to do a single crochet it, it's the same thing but but so we're, we're just working with a different color so we're doing a, two single crochets and you can see that sits us up right next to the previous LSC so what we're going to do is go down into 
this the row below which would be your first a color row and go through it and we have to get used to that feeling of going straight through and sometimes it won't look right or feel right but you know what I like about the stitches is not an exact science so we then we do a single crochet in the next row okay and we see how that looks so um, you just mine is pulling a little bit because I've made such a small sample but let me just work a couple more so we and remember we don't work we don't work the stitch that we worked the LSC in so we have this blank stitch here and we're going to go down below right next almost behind the, the LSC from the previous row and go through and then work the next single crochet okay we'll do one more go next to it go straight back grab that yarn oops let it go by accident pull it up to the right height you just got to be sure not to be pulling too tight so uh, what I'm going to do um, when I come back and just show you um, actually the de decreasing okay now we're in business <laughs> I finally got my lighting situation worked out um, been learning on trying to learn some kind of filming and photography and remembered I needed to have two two lights in both in different directions but what I decided to do instead of coming back on the decreasing row I was going to really quick show um, the double crochet row uh, where I mentioned adding a stitch marker. The reason why we don't need it before then is because as you can see the colors we can see okay now I need to go into this chain one because it's like bright yellow or bright whatever color you have you don't need it because you can see the colors are you know, you can see what your row was and, it, and it's going to be okay so this is the double crochet row we'll do real quick so I'm in, this, I'm in the chain one from the row below I mean from the previous row and then I'm just going to pull through we, we got that down pad and of course that's got a big gap in it so all I got to do is grab the yarn and pull on it and we're going to chain three and then we're going to double crochet in this single crochet and like I said this is um this is the round five where we chain three and we're going to double crochet around to the end and uh, I'll just do that with you really quick since this isn't very um, a big swatch that I have and you can see if you can't see now as you work you will see why uh, I mentioned keeping your your yarn that you're not working on on the inside of the hat because as it as it gets bigger it's just easier as, as the hat grows you're not fighting with pulling yarn in and you can control you can see how to keep the yarn that you're working on above on top of the yarns that you aren't working on and that will give you that neat straight line in the back instead of it being all confused and bunched up okay so I had to redo how I had the pattern on my website because I, I have it at my store but uh, with the store you have to sign up and and then do your order and and then um, payment has to process and all that before you get any of your order and I just felt like for those wanting to do the cal and start it right now waiting for the whole process for me to do that is is not um, the the way I want it to go for this cows because I want everybody to have it right now so I changed it on my website on um, if you go to the home page that's in the link uh, on the intro to this cow. I'll put it here as well. It's just the onesies crochet and knit.com. On the bottom of the home page is the feature pattern. You click, you can click on the picture or you can click on the link and it'll just boop, you have your PDF right there in your face. So I did, if somebody did it before, downloaded the pattern before I 
did that. Um, the copyright was wrong on it, so the year <laughs> I had to update that. So we finished, and uh, we're just going to we're just going to join in the um, in the, the the top the chain three of the. We're going to join in the third chain of your chain three. Okay, so now it's it's looking like something I see, and that. Um, that first one might look a little pulled. I could have went over a little bit more, but you can see the other ones are straight. It could be just because of it's so small, but it works out. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go in and join it, and then we're gonna chain one. Okay, and now place that stitch marker. You'll need it unless you, you're just good at eyeballing at it and focusing. If you're watching TV like I usually am, you're going to run right over that. So now it's going to it's asking us to single crochet in the first two double crochets. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into that. Okay. All right, okay, and then the next thing we need to do is we're going to single crochet SC2 TLG. So SC, single crochet two together. And that's a quite simple step. You just go you know, go in, uh, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops. You yarn over and pull through all three, okay? Now we're going to single crochet in the next two. Trust me when I say you do not want to do this step tight. <laughs> if you do, you will have extreme problems when you go to do your, your LSC rows, your these color rows. You're going to have some problems. So stay loose on, don't be terribly loose, but don't worry about the gaps. You're going to need the gaps, okay? So we'll do it one more time to do this SC2 together. You're just going to insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three on there, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And it's going to really pull your work. Of course you need it to, to, uh, to do that so that you can make it close at, at some point in the top of your head. <laughs> so that's that step. So um, that's your decreasing row. So these are the steps that uh, you can you will be using to work on this illusions beanie, and I hope it turns out nice for you. Um, but it, this is how it's looking so far for me. Like I said, by the time you decrease, you'll you'll be practically done with your project, or at least you'll be mostly done with it. And so I just wanted to show how you do the single crochet two together. Don't pull tight on it because you're gonna be not wanting to do this hat <laughs> after that. So it's just real simple. You just keep working, and after you finish with your design point, once you get to uh, a certain row. I think um, once you get past, um, I think row 19, you'll you'll stay in a, the A color because the whole rest of the cap will be finished in your main color. So that's why your main color you want it to be a color you really like, and then the accents will be a little splash of design in your color. So be just just be sure that you know which colors you want to be doing what. Okay, and so I hope you enjoy this. If there's some confusion, email me or, you know, put a comment below. I'll be checking in. I'm going to stop yapping and I'll let you go ahead and finish your hats. Like I said, go to the gallery. I'll have the link in there as well. So you can, I want to see your hats and tell me about your experience crocheting with me. Okay, and I will uh, look forward to, um, seeing you guys work and the colors that you put together okay thank you for crocheting with onesies crochet and knit uh stop for you lefty crafters have a good day well, just one little it's uh little extra i wanted to add this one little uh ps as i frog my little sample 
Um, if you, like I said, if you're if you end with a single uh, uh, LLC or a single crochet in your project project, um, it's no big deal. I really try to write some of these patterns so that it, it's not a hard and fast science to it. Um, I don't want people to, you know, if it doesn't end up the same way they want to, I, I like my things to be changeable. If you, if you can alter it to fit you personally. And I always say that's the seamstress in me coming out where, um, um, that's why some of my, my first per skirt project actually had a zipper in it and then, I mean, a button hole closure. And then I had uh, another one with a zipper. That's that seamstress in me coming out. But, um, that's how I, I like things to be so that you can make it your own and so if you if you find that it's not ending on the same same stitches and this instructions because you altered the width the, I mean the length of your band your band it, it's not the end of the world trust me it's it's an illusion stitches it's, it's playing a trick on the eye and and it, it is gonna work either way like you as you can see in my sample the um, I ended with an LSC and not a single crochet and it looked fine so just keep that in mind that um, it's not a hard and fast design that must be perfection or to look right because that's why I made it for beginners or um, advanced begin mostly advanced beginners but if you're an adventurous beginner just starting out and like to do hard stuff fast like I like to do I hopefully I broke it down so that it wasn't hard and you can crochet with us as well okay that's all for now goodbye